Hello, I'm Richard, and welcome to another episode of EV Basics. In this episode, we're going to talk about chargers and DC to DC converters. First off, charger is used to charge your traction pack. That's um, typically something that we put on board the vehicle. It doesn't have to be. You could drive into your garage or wherever and, and uh, plug the battery pack into the charger. But typically, uh, the chargers on the vehicle, uh, as far as I can think of, all the factory produced cars are that way. That's what's typical. <clears throat> so the chargers used to charge your battery pack. And so you basically have an AC line voltage going in, that can be 110 to 220, and then you have your DC pack voltage coming out. And we typically figure that um, voltage out based on our pack size, and so we'll take 3.5 volts per cell times the number of cells, and that's what we'll use for our maximum charge value. A few things that you want to consider when it comes to <clears throat> selecting a charger is the space available in your conversion, where you're going to put that thing. Um, and you want to remember you want to have it someplace that's not going to be uh, getting drenched in water and so forth. They typically need to be in a fairly uh, protected space. Um, you'll need some room around them. They produce heat, and so you need to really have some room around them so they can dissipate that heat. Your pack size will determine uh, some of your decisions when it comes to a charger. If you have a large battery pack, well, then you're going to need a larger charger. Otherwise, your charge time is going to be quite long. And that's another thing that people will consider is what, what, what charge time is um, tolerable for them? What's the power they have available? Most of the chargers we use uh, are, are either 110 or 220, and so that's not a decision. And then the other would be budget. And chargers basically go from $600 to $6,000. So um, budget can come into that decision. Now, DC to DC converter. DC to DC converter can be used with or without an auxiliary battery. Um, we have another video which deals specifically with uh, an auxiliary battery in, in DC to DC converter decisions, whether to use an auxiliary battery or not. And uh, we always use an auxiliary battery and a DC to DC converter together. Again, with the DC to DC converter, you have pack voltage in. And so that's one of the decisions that you'll have to uh, pay attention to when you're choosing a DC to DC converter. Make sure that it's suitable input range is uh, matches your pack. And then they typically put out 14.5, 14.6 volts DC out. DC to DC converter basically replicates the alternator in an internal combustion vehicle. It charges your auxiliary battery and shares the load of your 12 volt accessories. So when choosing uh, the size of your DC to DC converter, you want to have it in input voltage that match matches your pack, and the output that matches your vehicle load requirements. So if you have a Volkswagen Bug, and uh, which is the, you know uh, a plain Jane stereo and that type of thing, you know a, a small one's not going to be a problem. But if you have a, uh, a Suburban or something and you've got 
dual AC and heated seats and uh, all sorts of uh, power requirements, then you're going to want a DC to DC converter that can handle uh, that type of load. So there you have it. Uh, chargers and DC to DC converters in a nutshell. Our goal has been to just you know, give you the basics and keep these videos short. So we'll see you next time with more EV basics. As always, we thank you for watching and we'd like to remind you that if you have any questions or comments regarding our video or any of our videos, don't, don't leave a comment on the uh, YouTube channel because we don't respond to those. Send us an email at info at ev4unow.com and we'd be happy to answer any questions or concerns. See you next time. Hello, I'm Richard with ev for u Custom Conversions. You want to learn more? You want to learn about all the components in greater detail? You want to actually install the components and wire conversion? Test it and drive it? Well, you can. By attending one of ev for us three-day hands-on conversion workshops. You will get a chance to learn, discuss, ask questions about all the components used in a conversion. Wiring techniques, hardware used, safety, how it all goes together, and much more. But we don't just talk about it. We go into the shop and install the components in a vehicle, wire it up, and test it. After testing in the shop, we test it on our test track and in the industrial park where we're located. One of the vehicles we'll be using in 2014 is our sand rail. It's a blast. So come join us for three days of education and fun. Meet people from all over in a beautiful setting while learning how to convert a vehicle from gas to electric. ev for You provides lunch each day at great local restaurants. After hours, you can visit many of the local attractions, like Shasta Lake, the largest lake in California, Shasta Dam, the second largest concrete dam in the United States, Shasta Caverns. You can take a dinner cruise on Shasta Lake, take a walk on the Sundial Bridge, visit Mount Shasta. There's night skiing available during the winter. Visit Bernie Falls National Recreation Area or go kayaking at Whiskey Town Lake. You can check out the source of the Sacramento River. Sacramento River is the largest river in the state of California and you can see where it bubbles out out of the ground. We've got world-class fishing, hiking, and biking, all within minutes of ev for use shop. So we we'll hope you'll join us. So visit www.ev4unow.com and register today. The class sizes are limited, so don't delay.